What stood out just between the efforts and the first and the second half? Yeah, we, um, I, I feel there was a letdown when we found out at the tip off that Joel Embiid was not going to be playing tonight. I think there was a collective. And when you do that in this business, uh, you can make for an interesting game like today. So first off, give them credit. I mean, th those guys, Batum, Morris, Paul Reed, <laughs> Kelly Oubre, Patrick Beverly, all the guys, well, they, those guys played outstanding. And uh, they gave us, you know, we're, we're lucky to come out of here with a win today, let's be honest. Um, for three quarters, we guarded nobody. Just bottom line, we didn't play any defense for three quarters. And then the fourth quarter, we held them to 17 points. They shot 29 from the field. Uh, and we had zero turnovers that quarter. And uh, that started with the bench unit. Start the fourth, we're down two. And the, uh, I, I think it was uh, Jamal, Reggie, CB, Peyton, DJ. We start off on a 10-4 to four run, take the lead back. And the starters came in and did enough to get the win. But um, coming off of a really long road trip, the first game at home is usually the hardest game, especially when it's a matinee special like today. So wasn't pretty, not satisfied with it, but it sure beats uh, a loss. Told you that, that Embiid wasn't going to play when that, and how close to tip was it when you found out? Uh, Woj, Woj called me. <laughs> like that, somebody in the back like that. Um, we found out very late, and, and again, you know, I, I don't know how you go from being active, available, to out. And I'm sure the league will do their due diligence, and because that's frowned upon. And we've had situations this year where we've talked to the league, and they told us if a player goes from being active to out, there's going to be an investigation. So, you know, I'm sure that'll happen. I'm, and I'm sure that Joel hurt his, he hurt his knee in the Indiana game. Like, it's real. I, we watched the game. He hurt his knee in that Indiana game. So I'm sure he is hurt. But uh, it's just really tough when a player and a team that, like us, preparing for them, and then all of a sudden, last minute, he's out. But we have to do a better job of handling those situations. And I felt we did. Jamal made the threes, three threes in a row. We're up 10. I think everybody was like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a cakewalk today. Well, it wasn't a cakewalk. This was a tough, tough win. And uh, again, not satisfied, but it definitely beats losing. You touched on it, but it, just as a competitor, is there sort of a level of disappointment when when you do find out about that at, at the last second? Just, just you know? uh, I. I Nick Nurse coaches the Philadelphia 76ers. I have no idea what's going on in their locker room. Um, I used to work with a guy, Don Chaney, and uh, one of the opposing teams was making comments about our team. And Don said, well, he's got my vote for coach of the year because he can coach his team and my team. I'm not going to do that. Um, yes, it was a big letdown for the national TV audience not to get Nicola Embiid, but I, I just want our guys to play well. And so the two positives today, we won and nobody got hurt. Yeah. Showed not only that, but managed the tempo, slowed it down, and pushed on possession to get a three. What have you seen from him in terms of taking more and more steps um, lately, not just in his role? Yeah. Also? No, I agree, Matt. I thought he was uh, he was really good tonight, and the impact of the game. You know, three, nine points, three rebounds, three assists, and he had some really good defensive possessions. You know, and uh, so we all want to say that you know you want to put somebody, you know, and, you know. In this one hole, like he's a defender. And I think what Peyton's showing is, no, I can help this team on both ends of the floor. And I love when he plays downhill, puts pressure on the basket to score or to find a teammate. Um, he's got confidence in his three-point shot. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, Peyton was really good with that unit. And it was you know, just watching his development, you know, through uh, a little more than halfway through the season, you know, pretty impressed with how far he's come from last year to this point. And what really excites everybody is how much better he can get. So, uh, you know, kudos to Peyton for the job he's done. You told me once that these are the kind of spots when guys are out that you do, you see these let down spots over and over again. When, MB, when you found out that MB was out, was there part of your, was the first thing to your mind like, oh, here we go? Like, yeah. And, you know, I went out to the bench, you know, like there's like two minutes on the clock, guys are still warming up. And I was trying to grab guys individually, like, hey, man, no letdowns. And Aaron, Aaron Gordon was like, what are you talking about? I said, Embiid's not playing. So I, I, our players didn't know. They're on the court warming up. And so, you know, you prepare mentally to get ready for a fight against a really good team and a MVP candidate. Then he's not there, and Maxie's not there, and Tobias isn't there, and all these other guys. And, you know, you're fighting human nature at that point. On top of 
the the fatigue mentally and physically from coming back from an 11-game road trip, getting back at 3 in the morning and playing at 3 o'clock today. So you put all that together and you get a game like today. So we found enough ways to get the stops and the win, and that's all that matters. Coach, how do you think you could get Christian you know, playing back to that level he, he might have been at last year? Yeah, well, I, I think for Christian Brown to play really well, we, we've got to be better defensively. He's got to be def better defensively. We have to be better defensively because tonight for three quarters, we were taking the ball out of the net over and over and over again. And I think one of the Christian strengths as a player, and the reason I'm talking about that part of it, Harrison, is he's a very good open court player. But if we're not getting stops and rebounds and runouts, now we're a half court team. And I, I think um, not that Christian can't be effective in the half court, but I think you're taking away one of the areas that can really impact. And then for him, it's just, you know, again, like he's got to be uh, defensively just like a pest, an irritant, and he's got to be able to lock guys down and have game plan discipline and get out and run and finish and make plays for other people, get on the offensive glass, get us some extra possessions. Those are the types of plays that we need from Christian. And, uh, and I have no doubt that he's, uh, you know, he, he's ready to do that for us. But we just got to find it, to your point, just probably a little bit more consistently. One more. Jamal had uh, 20 points in the first half and then three in the second. Just wonder what you saw from that. And was it a schematic thing, or was it something that he needs to bring a little bit back? No, I mean, uh, we said it right when we found out that all those guys were out with Embiid. And you know, Nick Nurse is a very good coach, won a championship in Toronto. We knew they were going to try to junk the game up. And so they had smalls on bigs, bigs on smalls. They went to a box and one on Jamal, making it really hard for him. And what was great is that they went to the box and one. And I felt in that fourth quarter, you know, when Nicole was out, they went to that to try to, you know, cut Jamal off. He didn't fight it. We got Michael Porter off. We got other guys involved. So just kind of reading the game. And we see with Nicola all the time um, when Jamal's getting that kind of attention, it's really hard to play one on three. So that's where he's got to trust his teammates and uh, just continue to make the right reads. And, uh, you know, seven assists, only two turnovers is a very good number. And the one thing I did not want to have happen is, you know, you lose a game and all the free throws that we missed tonight. You know, that was, I think we were 24 or 38. So we got there a ton, but left way too many points at the free throw line tonight, which could have come back to bite us. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, everybody.